Hi there, Chris Kellett with 123 Muse. Let's take a look at the Adobe Spark page widget. Now this is version three of this widget. We've just recently completely overhauled it and added a ton of new capabilities. So let's go ahead and take a look. Now I'm just gonna drag the widget first off and just place it on the page and let's take a look at what it actually does. So it goes off to Adobe Spark and it pulls in um, an article based on the article ID. We'll take a look at how we're going to do how we get that in a minute and it pulls all of the, the, the basic content, the thumbnail, the author and so on about this particular article, it pulls it in um, onto the into the widget and we can resize this widget to whatever size we want. We can also duplicate it and have, um, we could put different articles in there. So let's just select all three of these and resize them. So we could uh, very quickly build up a bank of articles on the page um, and with different IDs so that we could pull in different stories. When we hit preview in Muse, we have this nice hover effect. And when we click on the thumbnail, it loads an almost full page um, light box onto the page and the article is there and fully working. So this is a really great way of adding kind of blog-like articles to your page. And if we just preview, let's just preview this in the browser and open up one of these articles and you can see that the widget is fully responsive and because Spark page is designed to be responsive as well, we now have this really nice responsive layout um, for this widget. So that's the basics of what the widget does, but we have, we have built some other capabilities into it. So let's go through the four different styles or embed styles that we've built and then we'll take a look at how we actually get the article in, embed as well. So this is called, this particular style, let's just resize this a minute, this one. And I was pressing, press, pressing shift and drag on the corner there to resize it to keep it proportional. So we have four different styles, as I said. So this one that it loads up with is the Adobe Spark style. So this is the style that Adobe has built for um, Spark articles, and that's the first one that lands onto the page. Next we have, or first off in the list at least, we have our custom hover effect. Now this is something that we've built, um, and it has the same capabilities, but it has a different um, hover technique. So let's take a look at that. So you can see as we move over the widget, we get this nice hover effect. And when we click it, we get the nice light box opening up. And again, it's still fully responsive as well. So that works nicely. And um, we can change now, because we've selected the custom hover, this panel opens up. We can change the width of the uh, pop-up height. So we could change that. Let's say, for instance, we wanted a smaller inlay on the page and we'll change the, let's change the hover to be completely uh, opaque and we'll change, we won't need the light box color. So let's just preview that now. And you can see that now we have the article nice and small on the page and you can see that our hover effect now fully um, covers the image. But let's say we wanted to make this 100%, that would, let's take a look at that and see what happens there. So let's put 100 in here and a hundred in here. So this is going to fill up the full browser width now. So if we click on there and we click the article, you see that the article opens up full browser and we can still close that down and get back to the thumbnails. What else can we do in here? Well, we can change the light box color, the background color and the overlay so that we can also add a custom icon. So when we hover over this, uh, this here, we can change that. Let's choose that and then let's go and search for, let's go and search for, let's say, um, arrow and SVG. Let's just choose this one, for example. Choose that, that's a PNG. And now if we preview, we have that custom arrow uh, loading up there. So we can change the icon um, in the center of, of this one as well. Okay, so that's the custom hover. Now if we go to the, we've done the Spark style, let's go to the Spark full page style. Now as you probably guessed this, this is going to generate a full page version of the clickable 
thumbnail. So um, we'll pop that in the corner there. Then going to choose a response, a stretch to full browser width. And we will also type in here, let's type in here 600. Let's return. And then if we preview this, that's the we can see that this article is now full page and when we click, we get that. But what if we just wanted the article itself in the page um, without having to click on it? Then all we have to do then is select our fourth option here, which is full page article only. Now, when it first renders onto the page, it'll render the thumbnail rather than the article um, because uh, just the way this works. But when we hit preview, we've now got the full article embedded on the page um, without the click through, you don't need to click through. And if we preview this in the browser, you'll see, there we go, we have it fully in the page and it's fully responsive as well. So we can um, use this as a page. So imagine, imagine the scenario now where you wanted to give somebody the capability to update a page, you could use uh, Adobe Spark page to create that page. You could then use this widget to embed that on on the uh, the site, um, and then the person could go and update that page via Spark page. Uh, just to, by way of an example, if we actually go out to my Spark page here, um, if we take a look at this, I've just created a simple portfolio just as an example. We'll just grab the URL. So this is how we would get the ID for an article as well. So you would go to your Spark page um, or your Spark project um, portfolio here and you can see that we have different types of uh, Spark content. We have page, we have post. Page is stories that we're using now. Post is for creating images and they also have Spark video for creating short videos. So, uh, but we're using page at the moment. But if you've never come across the Adobe Spark products, take a look. I think you'll be suitably impressed with them. So once we've uh, we decided on an article, we've created an article or page, we just click share changes, or once it's been published, you can share. Um, and if you go back to Spark page and update the content, when you click share, just click the update link and that will update the page as well. So that's how you've got this kind of like a CMS system where you can update the page in Spark page, click the update link and it'll update the Muse page. And we'll just click on the URL here and click copy. And then we go into our Spark page ID here. Let's delete that. Let's pop this one in here and hit return. And now if I go to preview in the browser, see so you've got this nice portfolio page. And because of the way that um, the guys at Adobe have built Spark, they've built all of these kind of features like this full size image into the page. So that's, that's something that we could do in Muse, but this is done automatically for us. Then as we scroll down, we have our gallery here of these different logos and we click on the gallery and we get this nice pop-up gallery. But we can actually update this, um, we can update this through Spark page now. So let's say this is our new site. I'm gonna go back to Spark page and I'm going to go down to this, this here and I'm gonna click on, let's say this image here and I decide that I want to, uh, let's move it, let's move it down. I'm gonna move it down and across so I'm gonna rearrange this. I could be adding a new image, but I'm just gonna rearrange this. And I'm gonna say that I like, uh, for instance, I like this logo to be at the top instead. So I'm just using the, um, the image grid here. I'm gonna pop this at the top of the page here. And I'm also gonna make it a large image. So this is the first image. And then we'll hit save. Now that we've done that, we're gonna hit share and we're going to hit update link. 
Now that's going to go away and um, just update all of that content. So I'm going to pause the video here and come back when that's all done. Okay, so we're back on the portfolio page and um, Spark's updated and we can see now as we scroll down that lo and behold, there we have our update made to the page. So you can see you could use this as a gallery for a simple gallery for a customer if you wanted something quick and easy for them to be able to update on your on your own site you could add different portfolios using this widget. So this is the new Adobe Spark page version 3. Um, we hope you enjoy using it and thanks for watching.